My name is Joe, and today I will be discussing the various ways numerous artists have incorporated anamorphic art into their work. Question one is, what do you think Holbein was trying to achieve with the anamorphic feature of the portrait? In Hans Holbein's The Ambassadors, he successfully incorporates the use of anamorphic features. Holbein's anamorphic presentation of the skull made it stand out while also providing a visual puzzle for the viewers. There are various viewpoints of what Holbein was trying to achieve, but I feel Holbein was just trying to be unique and make people think. The following question. Do the artists, including Rauschenberg, Griesbeck, Holzer, and Gonzalez Day, create an experience of changing anamorphic art in some way? I believe that Rauschenberg, Griesbeck, Holzer, and Gonzalez Day all use their own type of anamorphic art. Robert Rauschenberg was an American painter and graphic artist. Rauschenberg used anamorphic art by incorporating perceived garbage as his art inspiration. Scott Griesbeck was a photographer who made various alterations to his pictures, which is how he incorporated his anamorphic art. Jenny Holzer is an American neoconceptual artist. Holzer used public places to project her art on things such as buildings, for example. Ken Gonzalez Day is an American artist who uses past and present racial incidents, such as the lynchings that used to take place along with modern situations such as police brutality. The third question is, can you imagine some common thread between an artist in the 1500s and contemporary artists, such as distortion of a real object, altering reality, or changing the point of view of the viewer? I believe the common thread between the different generations of art is that these artists created art that was not only different, but innovative as well as creative. They weren't interested in confining to the norms of their art industry. In conclusion, I was intrigued by the various artists I researched. I learned that although one might be an outcast at the start of his or her career, he or she might also inspire a new generation of artists.